Okay. So this is just to verify. It is the switching that causes temperature rises. That's 38 degrees now. Right? It's like I could touch it. It's just a little bit warm, and that's about it. Okay. We've got a very, very slow PWM. And I mean that that's seconds almost, right? There's the motor, it's turning. The actual PDWM is 50%. Okay. And you can even possibly hear the variation. But that's a 50% PWM, right? Which is turning the motor obviously at half power. Okay. Uh, what is the PWM frequency? You could probably get it to measure it actually. Uh, Okay, so Mark 1, Mark 2, no. Right, let's alter the uh, timing. There you go. And now we'll have the markers. So that's there. And roughly there. 0.4 seconds. Okay, yeah, it's about about right. Point four, it's a half a second, okay? So that's a one second cycle, roughly. Current, okay, so voltage is it's 11 volts. It's a car battery, it's plugged into a high, high, volt, high power charger. Now, I've worked out that on this thing, you can actually give it, uh, if I do min max, there you go, the peak current is well, there you go, nearly 25 amps, right? And the min, zero, obviously, because it's turned off. Okay. Yeah? And it's going so slowly that, obviously, the meter is showing it flickering. Yeah, you can see that's how quickly it's changing. Visible. 25 amps, roughly, okay? So that's 25 amps passing. So it's a 12-watt battery, but it's running at about 11 volts at the moment. We've got 36 degrees, which I think that's dropped actually since I started this. Okay, we've got a small fan that's just cooling it, and it's lukewarm. It feels lukewarm to the touch. All right, 50% duty cycle. Yeah, switching 25 amps. Okay, and the motor's obviously running at about half power, so it's being controlled. But the power's being controlled down. Okay, with an IGBT. Obviously a very, very clean PWM because we're running so slowly that switching time, which is in microseconds, is insignificant. And hence, there you go, <laughs> the temperature is still dropping. It could sit like that all day and all night. In fact, I could probably turn the fan off and it wouldn't even get warm. Okay? Thus verifying that it's the switching time proportion that makes it go... This is switching 25 amps. That device is turning 25 amps on and off, and it's lukewarm, right? When you get the frequency up, then it starts getting hot, because you're doing it more often. It's the transition time. Now, that's good, because then that means we can control that motor quite easily with an IGBT using digital electronics, 5 volts, at milliamps at the very most, okay? I mean, look at the wires that I'm using, you know, <laughs> to give you an idea of how much actual, you know, current is running through that. You've got 25 amps running through that, right? Your cooker is 30 amps, <laughs> obviously at a higher voltage, but that's the thing that causes the, the heat up, it's the current. So we could just, we could switch this now to running... In theory, we could switch this to running 300 volts, not through that motor, but through that one. Okay. And... <laughs> that's the temperature. It's dropping, look. Nothing. I can change the speed as well. Let's change the speed. Let's, let's speed it up. Speed the motor up. Okay, so that's going to... It takes a while because it's doing it. It's only sensing the buttons every, every cycle. Okay, you can hear, possibly hear it going up. Yeah, 
the motor speed's increasing, PWM cycle's increasing. Temperature <laughs> dropping. <laughs> okay, the average current, it's actually measuring an average current now. And you may not be able to see that at this distance, but it was 20 amps. There you go. Okay, speeding it up. Temperature is holding steady at 35 degrees. Here's your PWM, which obviously is a bit more, is much quicker now. Okay, it, it's it's almost full. In fact. You, you, you can barely tell them turning off. So that's pretty much full. In fact, I can't even see that turning them off now. This, this, the delay, the different... The, the, there you go. Nothing there. So that's full power, roughly. Okay, which is not, actually 17 amps now. Okay. Not this running. Ooh. I just took my finger off it. Oh, something weird happened then. Software changed. Well, that's strange. Yeah, I don't know what's happened there, but I do know this pick is broken. There's something wrong with it. Okay. So if we just minimise both, so it's a 50% mark space again. But there you go. Temperature 36. Oh dear, we've gone up a degree almost. See? So we're controlling a reasonably high current, 20 amps. It's not hundreds of amps, but it's 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 some current, albeit at a low voltage. And uh, it's no problem at all. Absolutely no problem. Effortless. Bye bye.